Now let's start building these pages. First of all, let's start with the account page. It is responsible for giving us options of login and sign up. And here I have used a select box. Whenever I click on login, it's giving me option buttons for login. And for sign up, it's giving options for creating account. So let's build this page. First of all, we have to import single. And first of all, we have to create an app function with another page. Now we have to add the font here. Yeah. On the top, we have this text. Right? Let me copy it and in Streamlit we have different functions for displaying the text like stream ht.y dot text dot text area title dot header etc. They have their various cases like for here we have to use title so that we can display it in the large font size. I'm using Student type of function cooperating welcome to Bondi. And in Streamlit, for giving color to the text, we have to use a format like this. First of all, we have to place a column before the text of the color and then mention the color name and put the text inside square brackets. Now, this pondering will be of violet color. So let's try running it. This is our website. Yeah, it shows welcome. Now we have to give user a choice to select login or sign up. For that, we are going to create a choice variable and here we will be creating a select for creating select books. We have a select books function, then give the label. And after two months. Inside the square braces, give the options name you want to display. Now we have to check whether the user clicked on login or sign up. For that, we can use if statement. We pass if choice is equal to login. Then we can write the code we want to show on for the login option and otherwise we will write the code for the sign up open. So in the login first we have to add the email address and password text box. For that, we have a function name text input. Give it a label. Similarly, for password, and that it's type to password so that. Directly password be visible. Let's store them in variables email and as well as password.
After that, we have a button for and for button. There is a button function in load. Inside L, uh, inside sign up page, we have email and password text. Same. Let's check how it looks to now. Okay, so login, sign up, select box. And in login, we have email address. We can write email address here, the password. And as you can see, the password is converted in dots whenever I am typing something. So it's due to type it's a password. The login button here. For sign up page, we have added email address. So now we have to write enter your name and create my account button. So username, text input and to a plus name. After that we have a button. So create my account. Perfect. Now this design is complete. So the design part is complete for uh, account page. Now we have to connect this page to the database. So we can check for authentication of this. 